guys, so I'll be helping you create this doll look today. I am first starting out with my Sephora foundation in the color Porcelain, and I'm taking a flat, fluffy blending brush and putting that all over my face, making sure that's all blended in perfectly to get that porcelain look, and I'm putting it over top of my lips so that we can create the doll small lips for later. And so I'm just blending this all over as you would with normal foundation. And this is just going to give us a base for what we're going to do with our face later. Now I'm going to be taking my Beauty Evolved palette in this white primer color. It's very, very white, very pigmented, and I'm going to be using a wet beauty blender. I'm going to be putting this all over my face just to make my face look even more lighter than it normally is. And I'm going to be concentrating this on the cheeks, the nose, the forehead, and the chin, and then I'm just going to blend it out everywhere else just to give my face more of a porcelain doll look and to make me look lighter than I normally am. Make sure that it's blended in very well, that there are no patchy spots, and just make it look very, very porcelain-like and super seamless. Now I'm taking my NYX Finishing Powder in the color Banana in an e.l.f. Kabuki brush. And this is more of a highlighting powder, but I'm using it for my all-over face because I'm trying to make my face look even lighter, in case you guys didn't get the memo, and make it look more porcelain, so I'm putting this all over my face to make it look even lighter than normal. Now I'm taking my LA Colors pressed powder, and this I am going to use to contour my face very, very lightly, and I'm using a medium brush to do that. And remember, it's very, very light. This powder is very good because you can build it up as much as you want or put on as little as you want, so I'm just putting it on very light and putting it where I would normally contour. Now I'm taking my TCW Bronzing Powder, and I'm using this dark brownish gray color in a pointed small brush and I'm going to contour my notes like I've never contoured before. And I'm going to make it look very small and pick like just by using contouring. So I'm going to put this down my nose and just make it look very very thin. And then I'm going to be using a small fluffy brush to blend that all in and to make it look seamless. And make it look like it's part of my skin and that it's my actual skin that is that light in that contoured. <laughs> now using my the same NYX powder that I used earlier in this pointed brush just to highlight my face and to highlight that contour a little bit more. Now using a blush color from Beauty Benefit and I'm using a small blending brush and I'm going to be putting this on the apples of my cheeks and putting it on again very lightly because we are not trying to make a huge difference. And now I'm using this dark brown color and a thin angled brush and a thicker angled brush that is the exact same size. I'm going to make sure that my brows are very, very sculpted, that they look perfect and there's nothing that is wrong with them. So I'm going to fill them in even darker than I normally would just to give it that doll-like look and I'm going to make sure that it's all blended in and that it looks great. Now I'm using my Maybelline Brow Drama in the color Blonde. I'm going to be putting that over my eyebrows just to make sure that they stay in place all day and that they do not move. Now I'm using my Precision Elf Liner and I'm going to be using this small little brush and I'm going to be putting that underneath my lash line, even farther underneath than usual. And I'm going to put it up in like a cat eye motion and I'm going to be going over my crease. I'm not putting this on my crease. I'm putting it over it, on top of it, wherever you want to call it. And I'm making sure that it goes into that cat eye look. And don't worry if this is a bit messy because that is okay. This is just an outline for what we need to do for later. Now I'm going to be taking that liner and rounding it to the end of my lid. And rounding it to the bottom of that bottom line just to give a cat eye look, and this will give us the illusion that our eye is bigger.
Now I'm going to be using this dark brown color and this flat brush. It's a very small flat brush. And I'm going to be going on top of the liner and on the bottom of the liner just to give it more of a shadow effect and like it's part of our skin. And this will give us the uh, illusion that our eye is bigger and it just all goes great together. Make sure that's very blended out that you still have that liner in and you can even take a little bit of black and go into that too just to give it more of a natural crease shadow which I am doing right now and I'm dabbing it everywhere that I need it. Now I'm going to be taking that liner again and that very small brush and I'm going to be creating my own lashes on that bottom line and make sure that they're very spread out, very very thin and that you can thicken them up as you wish. And just make sure that they look very doll-like and very thin and this is going to make the look look amazing. Now I'm going to be taking my Beauty Evolved palette again in that same white primer color in a thin angled brush and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line and on the top of my lid and especially into the waterline. Make sure that's very well blended into the waterline because the white of the primer and the white of your eye will blend together perfectly and it will just make your eye look very huge, very doll-like. And I know since we're using creams so that it's hard to blend sometimes into powder, but trust me, it is able to do. So just keep working at it and dabbing it in and blending it all the way through. Now I'm going to use my red lip gloss and this came in a kit so it doesn't really have a name but I'm going to use this to create small doll lips and I'm going to go in next with my NYX Margarita and I'm going to put that over top of it just to create more of a doll like look and to make them look small and dainty. Now I'm going to put on very thick lashes which I learned from this video that I'm rubbish on putting on lashes on camera so I'm sorry I couldn't put that on for you guys because they would just go really wrong. But anyway I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. I hope that this helps you for Halloween. Like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoyed it and I love you all and I'll see you in our next video. Bye! So this is going to be my first haul video. Um, normally I don't um, go on a shopping spree or anything of that nature if I see something that I really like, especially in clothing, because if I'm going to spend anything in clothing, if I'm going to spend any money, it's going to be on clothing. So over this weekend, I was in Orlando and there's a lot of outlets and they're having a lot of sales and they're bringing in fall items, which is my favorite favorite fashion is fall fashion. And so um, while I was there, they had so much wonderful stuff and things are on sale.